and Tavion Kirk. And for Oakland, looking for their first victory, they will go with Rashad Williams, Townsend, Parrish, Jalen Moore, who was a catalyst for Oakland yesterday, and uh, Daniel Oladapo. Starting lines brought to you by Credit Union One. UIC with it to start our game here in Chicago. Yesterday, the Flames were able to pull off the victory as Mitchell misses the three from the outside. And the rebound controlled by Howard. He goes up strong for the lay-in. So Howard with the first two for UIC, and it's 2-0 Flames. We saw Howard step up yesterday down low, getting defensive rebounds, offensive rebounds right there. Howard with the strong offensive rebound and put back for the Flames. Try to get a pass inside, taken away by Diggins. And Flames win 74-72 yesterday against Oakland. Jamie Hale from Australia, 25 points, eight three-pointers, and Raquanis Mitchell with 19. In the corner, the three is no good for Howard, and Oakland out with it. Oakland was undefeated here at Credit Union One Arena until yesterday, as they lost by two as Oladapo goes in for the lay-in, and we're tied at two. Nice pass from Moore to suck two UIC Flames defenders with them to find Oladapo down low for two. Michael Diggins, the cousin of Skyler Diggins from the WNBA in Notre Dame, has the ball now with 15 to shoot. Diggins spins and turns. Here's Kirk, the rainbow three, yes sir. Tavion Kirk knocks down the three at the top and it's 5-2 UIC. UIC yesterday shot 38% from three, really in the second half leading the way. Kirk with a big three point there as the Grizzlies come back and score two. Oladapo inside, and it's 5-4 UIC. Oladapo was strong yesterday, Chris, 15 and 18, a double-double for the Golden Grizzlies. Here's Griffin working his way into the lane, and the rebound, Townsend. Here's Moore, we'll talk a lot about him today, blocked by Howard. Here come the Flames on the run, Diggins, Griffin on the right side. Kirk will slow things down for the Flames. Kirk is wide open. He launches a three. Rebound, Kirk, and we have a whistle. Foul called on the Golden Grizzlies. That's gonna be on Townsend, his first. Good job, Eric to follow his own shot, the three-point from the top, gets all the way to the rim, following the offensive rebound, goes back up with it, Jonathan. And we'll see both of these teams try and mix match the strategy from what we saw yesterday. The Grizzlies bring the zone. Uh, Uke lock, uh, lock. Yaklich takes a, a look at it and, and attacking the corners on the baseline for UIC was a success in the second half. As Greg Campy noted that there's not going to be a lot of different strategies in today's contest as both teams back on the court, back-to-back -back days. It's kind of different here in the Horizon League, new this season. Free throw is missed. Jamie Hale on now for UIC. The heart and soul of this ball club yesterday with the amount of three-pointers. He hit eight three-pointers, a career high. 5-4, Flames with the lead. Moore, down the lane he comes. Inside of Townsend, no, no whistle. It's going to be on Diggins. Let's take a look again. Moore, down the lane he comes. The storyline that we saw at the end of yesterday's game, especially late in the second half, foul trouble for the UIC Flames. Diggins picks up the foul there, Jonathan, and, and that's something that we have to take a look at today because with the Flames, without Braylon Bridges, without uh, Dion Edgeum in this contest, the bigs uh, and minutes that the UIC Flames are going to have to use here Really got to stay out of foul trouble when, it, trouble when it comes to Diggins, when it comes to Howard. Townsend knocks it down. The freshman from Oxford, Michigan. 17.8 rebounds, two blocks, two steals yesterday against UIC. Definitely a building block player for Campy and Oakland for some time to come. Diggins on the baseline scores. 7-6 UIC. Good body control by Michael Diggins. Create the contact, still gets the bucket. Under 17 to play here in the first half. Inside to Townsend. Ball tipped out by Oladapo. It'll be UIC Flames basketball. 
talked to Will Beasley, the assistant coach for UIC earlier, Chris, just says that UIC just has to match Oakland's energy as much as possible. The team effort to try to box out on the boards. Flames were bludgeoned on the board yesterday despite the victory. 48 to 34 advantage as Diggins knocks down the three and it's 10 6 UIC. Yeah, it's definitely going to be the rebounding. It's going to be free throw shooting. Uh, usually when you see a discrepancy in the free throws that we saw yesterday between Oakland and UIC, uh, it, it's tough to win basketball games like that. But obviously the three point shot yesterday, the great equalizer for the UIC Flames, Diggins just hits a three. Moore against a hail. There's a three by Parrish. Rebound, Tavion Kirk. Here come the Flames with Kirk. Trying to get a pass inside and he threw it right to Micah Parrish. Moore down the lane. And a layup is good for Jalen Moore. 10-8 UIC. Jalen Moore dealing with some cramps at the end of yesterday's ball game. Back to back. We'll see how many uh, Grizzlies gain to the ball game for Greg Camp Campy's crew in this matchup. Diggins steps into a three. Rebound Townsend. Yeah, Greg Campy after the game blaming himself for the yep. amount of minutes was played for more. Here's a three try. That's no good for Rashad Williams. Ah, it goes back in. The shooters touch for Williams, and it's 11-10 Oakland. Campy also talked about after the game how the Flames did such a great job yesterday on Williams, not letting him get three-point shots up, and Williams buries that last one. A little luck off the rim. Kirk. Inside, it goes out of bounds. It was blew right through his shoelaces. 15.09 left. Here in the first half. Tavion Kirk from Joliet, Illinois. The Mitchell inside for Diggins. Rebound Oladapo. Here's Williams for three, knocks it down. So Rashad Williams with a three. Flames did a great job against him defensively yesterday, limiting him to just six points, but he gets off to a great start. He shot one of ten from three yesterday. He's now already hit two three-pointers in this contest. 14-10, Oakland with the lead. A hail at the top. Mitchell with ten to shoot. Mitchell drives the lane, loses the handle. And that'll be a foul on the Grizzlies. They're going to call the foul, Chris, on Rashad Williams. Right across the arm. Mitchell driving in and gets the contact in the arms. He'll head to the foul line. Nice to see uh, Raekwondis Mitchell have a nice game yesterday. 19 points, 7 of 17 from the field, 5 rebounds. The 82% free throw shooter hits the first. 12.8 points a game. Three rebounds from Atlanta, Georgia. Last year at Otero College, Juco. Chris, there's ballers everywhere. You look for them, you can find that guys that can score the ball across this country, around the world. And when you look at Luke Yaklich's team here, you have Kirk, you have Mitchell, you have Griffin, all transferring into UIC, all can score the basketball, all adding great experience to this Flames roster. Williams misses it in the rebound, Diggins. Tavion Kirk gives it to Diggins in the corner. Howard for three, swish! Big Rob Howard knocks down the three in the right corner and it's 15-14 Flames. Here's Moore, drives the lane, misses the shot, rebound, Tavion Kirk. Here come the Flames on the push. Kirk to Hale for three. Yes, sir! Jamie Hale knocks down the three at the top, and the Flames by four. Jamie Hale hits three, or hits eight three-pointers yesterday. Fires off one here in today's ball game. Buries it, you know. Coach Yaklich talked to you before the season and said one of the key proponents for Jamie Hale is his confidence to miss because he needs to just keep firing off shots. Good to see him hit the threes yesterday and firing today as well. Young misses over Mitchell. Flames with a four-point advantage. Kirk down the lane. Layup is good. T. Kirk right to the basket. And the Flames up 20-14. to 14. See the hesitation from the Grizzlies defense. They had to keep an eye on Hale at the three-point line. And Kirk takes it all the way to the rim for two. 
Moore raises up for three. Rebound Michael Diggins. A hail will stop on the right side. They swing it. A Howard knocks down the three. Nine from three point range. The three point shot kept the Flames in it yesterday in their victory against Oakland. Oakland looking for their first victory of the season. Williams on the left wing. Shoots over Diggins. No. Rebound Howard. Kirk to Mitchell. Inside to Kirk. A hail for three. In and out. No good. And back in again. Tipped in by Michael Diggins or Howard. Howard and Diggins both there. The basket good. Look at Coach Yaklich on the sideline. Asking for his defense to pick it up. 25-14 Flames. Traveling call. Everything they need to right now. All right, thank you. Flames up 25-14. Far cry from what we saw yesterday as Diggins goes in and lays it in. So 27-14 UIC. No resistance from that Oakland defense, that zone. Diggins too close to the rim, just lays that up. First time UIC has faced a zone team as Moore goes in and the layup is good for Oladapo. 27-16, UIC with the lead. And as a foul call, you had Young and Williams all over Kirk. You mentioned it's the first time that the UIC Flames, nice pass there from Moore to Oladapo. Uh, you mentioned that uh, the Flames seeing his own team. Greg Campy talked about how the in-game strategy between the back-to-back -back games and how in the second half yesterday, the Flames are doing something on the baseline in the zone to attack the zone that even the Golden Grizzlies haven't seen this year. And they've played Michigan, Michigan State, Xavier. They've played five Power Five schools to this point. Yaklich and the Flames figured it out yesterday in the second half, and they're having success now. A hail for three. Swish! Ahoy, a hail! A hail for three from the right wing, and it's 3 to 16 UIC. Moore on the other end to Oladapo. Yes, sir, to foul. A hail being able to knock down that three. Wide open he is, Chris. Look at the legs. Did they get tangled out there? I think that was a good call as Hale falls to the ground but buries the three-point shot. Rob Howard's going to get called for the foul as Oladapo will head to the line. How, how often do you hear, know your personnel? For you know, It's one thing for to have the confidence for a Hale, but boy, he's wide open on these shots. It's simple offense, right? You dump it into the middle point man in the middle just turns and fires it back out to the three-point line and that's where you find Jamie Hale for three. Well, Adapo completes a three-point play. Chris Conway in there for the Golden Grizzlies, the 6'10 freshman from Naperville. Six three-pointers made so far for UIC. Mitchell thought about it. Kirk for three. Rebound Oladapo. Moore on the right wing. Moore against a hail. And a foul called on a hail. That'll be his first foul. Jalen Moore picked up his dribble, and that's where Jamie Hale continued with the body on the defensive side of things, picking up the foul. There's more now against Diggins. Oladapo on the baseline. Kangu for three. No good from the left corner and the rebound by Kirk and a whistle. The foul is going to be on Parrish. Give credit to Tavion Kirk. Did you see how high he got up for that rebound? That's a guard getting up for a rebound. Stands at 6'4". Zion Griffin back in the ball game for UIC to replace Rob Howard. Couldn't see Rob getting into the flow of the offense, Chris. Definitely a lot more three-point attempts this year than last. Had the 
hand injury in practice, missed some time. The last couple of games really have stepped into his role here. Kirk out of Griffin would tend to shoot and a foul call. That's going to be on Michael Parrish. Number 10 to play, 30 to 19. I figured out something about uh, Kirk, by the way. And you guards, and don't, uh, you don't fool me. The reason why he's got that rainbow shot is because if he misses, he's right there. Gives him time to go get the offensive rebound. A hail for three, and he knocks it down again. Red hot a hail. 33 to 19 UIC. That's his third three-point make. Jimmy Hill now has nine points. Moore. Rebound UIC and Mitchell. Loose ball hustle for the Flames right now. Mitchell for three. Rebound Oladapo. Here's Moore trotting into the front court for the Golden Grizzlies. He bumped into Mitchell. That'll be a foul on Requandus. Flames are doing a much better job today uh, keeping Jalen Moore out of the lane. See Jamie Hale buries another three point shot. He's red hot right now for the Flames. But Jalen Moore yesterday, whenever he wanted to get into the lane and then dish it off to a big, it was either Townsend or Oladapo. Uh, he was doing so yesterday. The Flames doing a better job getting a defender on him, keeping him out. This is Griffin now against Moore, and he, his, his progress is impeded going down the baseline. We've seen four or five different flames on him, so you've seen a lot of switching on Moore. We've seen Mitchell, we've seen Griffin, we've seen Diggins. Mm -hmm. uh, Kirk has guarded Moore. Aladapo to inbound. In the corner, Rashad Williams. Rebound, Oladapo. He was a monster on the glass yesterday, and he is able to get to the basket. 33-21, Flames. Smart move by Oladapo, cross a, cut across the lane, get to the other block, gets a layup. There's no defense over there. Here's Kirk. Gets the shooter's roll, and it falls. 35-21, UIC. On the other end, here is Moore with the lay-in. So the 5'11 junior from Cloverdale, Indiana, who had 25 points and six rebounds yesterday. And there is a three try. That is no good for Brian Taylor and the rebound. Controlled by the Grizzlies. Ah, carries. We do have red hot Horizon League basketball for you. As the Flames try to make it two in a row. Looking to go five and two on the season. And we're glad that you're with us here on ESPN. Kirk on the left wing for UIC. Flames shooting 54% from the field. 7 for 14 from 3. 10 to shoot for the Flames. Kirk all the way in. The layup is good for Tavion Kirk. 37-23 Flames. Moore with 4 points as of all. Townsend in the lane. Puts up the shot and scores. Townsend with four. 37-25 Flames. Close to seven minutes to play here in the first half. Mitchell thought about it. Here's Griffin for three. Oladapo with the rebound. Well, Dapo at 11 points so far, Chris. He's been a lot to handle for the Flames down low the last two days. He has it on the block again. Here he is against Taylor. Finds the seam and scores. On cue, Oladapo with 13, along with seven rebounds already. It's a matchup problem for the Flames. It's a matchup problem, and then on the offensive end, uh, we, we've seen the Flames' offense kind of sputter the last couple possessions with a hail on the bench, with Rob Howard on the bench. See if they can get something. A good look here. Kirk for three. Swish! Kirk knocks down the three at the top. 
40-27 UIC. Ordered up a good look. Kirk nails it. In the corner is Parrish. Townsend on the inside. Parrish again. Knocked out of there by Mitchell. And it'll stay Oakland basketball. Here comes a hail. Here comes Howard for UIC. Diggins with the block down low. He leads the team in blocks. Long wingspan for Michael Diggins. I asked Dee Brown, the, one of the assistant co coaches for UIC the other day, Chris, I said, is it, has it been an adjustment for players that we saw here last year? A Hale, Diggins, Rob Howard, an adjustment with a new coaching staff as Moore misses the three. He said, no, not at all. He says, it just enhances the repertoire of the team because there's a lot more emphasis on defense this year than in ye years past. Inside is Howard. And the floater is no good, and here comes more. You know, to your point, look at what we've seen as conference play has begun. It's a hail, it's Diggins, it's Rob Howard. All players who have been here for the Flames stepping up. Kirk right to the basket and scores. 42-27. Beautiful play by Tavion Kirk to get all the way to the rim. Kirk's got 14. More inside. Rebound snatched out of there by Big Rob Howard. Here come the Flames on the run. T. Kirk, a flying one-hander and scores. Kirk with the basket. 44-27 UIC. Howard with the block, Kirk in the open floor. Not many are gonna be able to stop Tavion Kirk in the open floor. Once again, back-to-back -back buckets for Kirk. Oakland becoming unraveled here in the first half. A turnover in UIC basketball. Zion Griffin back in there. You and I both heard from uh, Greg Campy, the head coach for the Golden Grizzlies after the game yesterday. He was just steadfast in belief that that was a winnable game, that the Grizzlies should have won their first game yesterday. There's a couple of things he blames on himself as far as the last play of the game and some of the minutes, but... It's a lot of resolve from this Oakland team. They're just not off to a good start here in the first half. He absolutely takes the blame for himself when he says, quote, it was a crappy play that I drew up. He takes the blame. And, you know, it's a, it's a win that he thought they had yesterday based on the foul shot discrepancy in favor of the Golden Grizzlies. There's Young on the inside. And it's 44-29 Flames. Here's the quote that I like from Greg Campy yesterday. Two things in life that don't last long. Dogs that chase cars and teams that can't make free throws. And the Grizzlies could not make free throws down the final couple minutes in the second half yesterday. And, and that's why they lost. Howard across to Mitchell. Kirk on the move. Spins, turns, fires, and scores. T. Kirk. 46-29 UIC. 18 points, 8 of 10 from the field for Tavion Kirk. Kangu has his shot blocked. Kirk on the move again. Mitchell for three. Tipped and volleyed. Young saves it for the Golden Grizzlies. Williams. Who's got eight points tonight and a foul. In the field, 18 points early on for the Flames. 3-0-2 left here in the first half. Grizzlies shooting 41% from the field. Newsom. Now Young, free throw circle. Jumper is no good. Rebound Oladapo. Here's Young for three. Missed it. Townsend with the rebound and a whistle. Oladapo. It's going to be on Kirk, by the way. That'll be his first foul. Chris, I'll tell you what, Oladapo is always in the right place, isn't he? For the rebounding, the second chance. Just keeps the ball alive. He really is the junior for the Golden Grizzlies. He's been on a couple of these pretty good Grizzlies teams over the last couple of seasons, really coming into his own. 6.3, 
points, four rebounds per game coming into this weekend, but really playing stellar here as conference play starts starts up this weekend here in the Horizon League. Townsend hits the free throws. The 6'6 freshman from Oxford, Michigan. He'll be a really good player for the Grizzlies. Really played well yesterday with his 17 points and eight rebounds. Howard is double team. A hail will swing it. Kirk down the baseline. Ball squirts free and it's picked up by Emmanuel Newsom. Newsom dances with his dribble as he brings it to the front court. Williams will pull up for three. Another offensive rebound for the Grizzlies. Williams tries to get it into Oladapo. Out of bounds, it'll be UIC basketball. Yeah, you still got to play your offense, Chris, if you're the Grizzlies. You can't just force shots. A couple of flames in the faces of Grizzlies. They're just trying to put anything up there because they've been really proficient in getting the offensive rebound, but you got to be able to get the shot you want. It's notable here in the first half, the Flames only have seven fouls, team fouls, and uh, the Grizzlies have only shot five free throws. Big time dunk for Howard on the inside, and it's 48-31. Howard's having a heck of a game. Ten points now, three rebounds. He also has two blocks on the defensive end. 48 points most in any half the season for UIC. Inside is Zion Young and a whistle. Foul will be called on UIC. That'll be on Mitchell. Oh, they're calling Howard, I beg your pardon. It was Howard coming across the lane trying to go for that block, swiped at it, picks up the foul. So Zion Young went to the foul line. Two points so far, a 66% free throw shooter. Free throw is good. You mentioned yesterday, Chris Zion from Simeon High School, right? Yes, he is. From Chicago with the Simeon, 6'4", 215, Zion Young, averaging five points per game on the season coming into this weekend. He's also hit 10 threes on the season. You know, Jonathan, you take a look at the foul shot discrepancy from yesterday. Bowling Grizzlies shot 18 of 32. The Flames went four of seven. Um, already in today's ball game, Six of six for the Golden Grizzlies. The Flames going two of four, but really that large discrepancy isn't quite there that was in favor of Oakland that we saw yesterday. 44-38, sorry, 48-33, UIC with the lead. Inside is Howard. Diggins with a try and scores. Michael Diggins with 11 points, 50 to 33 UIC. Cleans up the rebound, gets two points. He has 11 now, five rebounds for Michael Diggins. Under one to play. A hail, trying to slow down more. Inside is Townsend, and the shot is good for Townsend. He has six, and it's 50 to 35. Kirk at the top. Here's Griffin, misses the shot. 23 seconds left here in the first half. Moore down the lane. A kick off to Young for three. Rebound Ray Quandis. 10 seconds left. Kirk at the top, six, five, four. A pass to Hale for three. Swish! Jamie for five from three with 12 points. How can the Flames continue their momentum here in the second half, Chris? You know, look what Luke Yaklich said to Joe Brand at the end of the first half. They got to play their defense and make the Grizzlies play again against a set defense. It's something that was key yesterday. We see it in the first half here. Yaklich said there's no teeth to the defense yesterday. I think we've seen some of that. Deflections, forced turnovers, blocks from Diggins and from Howard. Uh, you see the defense here in the first half of the Flames, much improved from yesterday in the first half, and that's why you have almost a 20-point lead as you start the second half. Parrish shuts down, and Zion Young 
comes in the ball game immediately for the Golden Grizzlies. Oakland on eight. Having a rough start to the season. Played a very formidable non-conference schedule. Here is Mitchell, long two, no. Rebound Townsend. And the first loss of the Horizon League schedule for Oakland yesterday. Tough loss for Oakland. Oakland did a lot of things well. That'll be the second foul on Mitchell, by the way. Let's take a look at this again. Off the rim, both players going for it. Kind of blocked out from view there. Will stay Oakland ball. To the basket is Moore and scores. Jalen Moore, the 5'11 junior from Cloverdale, Indiana, with the basket. Moore has got six. He saw the mismatch. He had Howard on him, took him all the way to the hole. In the corner, a three is no good for Griffin in the rebound, controlled by Oakland. Here comes the Grizzlies on the push. Inside to Oladapo, the layoff spins off the rim, no, out of bounds. That'll be Flames basketball. Tell you what, Chris, the key so far, that first half, now here we are in the second, Moore with six points, Townsend with six, two of the catalysts offensively for Oakland. Flames did a really good job against them defensively. Yeah, they really did. It was the contain and not allowing Moore and Williams to get all the way to the basket. The lazy pass there, but it draws a foul as Young. Sticks his hand in as Mitchell tried to get that ball. Something to keep our eyes on here in the second half. In the first half, Tavion Kirk, he had 18 points, six rebounds, five assists. Joe Brand hands me this note. Tavion Kirk, his career high in points was 24 when he was at Ohio. That was back November 24th, 2018 against Austin P. Well, let's see if uh, Tavion Kirk can top 24 career points today for the Flames. Inside is Howard for the lay-in. Oh, Howard with the basket, 55-37 UIC. Young on the other end for the Grizzlies. Goes in and scores. Young with six points as 55-39. Good body control from Young to get all the way to the rim. Contact to make the bucket. Diggins to Requandis for three. Switch. Mitchell knocks down the three from the left wing. 58-39. UIC with the lead. Young on the other end. And a whistle. Back-to-back -back possessions for Young, where he basically does the same thing. In the lane, creates a contact. He made the bucket last time. This time, gets a foul. Take a look at the dig against pass out from the middle. Raquandis Mitchell steps into three-point shot. His first three-point make of the day. Young with six points tonight and 12 minutes of play. 6'4 junior from Chicago. Free throw is good. Notice the quick hook by Campy. Not even a minute into the first, into the second half. And Young comes in and able to provide a little bit of a spark so far. Greg Campy talked about it yesterday, how he needs to use his bench today. We've seen more players enter the game for the Golden Grizzlies. We have a, a few that have played less than three minutes in the first half. We'll see how the legs kind of hold up here in the second half today. Back to back, second day of the back to back. Tavion Kirk spins his way to the lane, lose the handle, and picked up by Oladapo. Here come the Grizzlies. Moore all the way in, spins it off the glass, no. Townsend goes in and scores. 58 43 UIC. Kirk inside to Howard. It's a traveling call on Howard. Oladapo in there mixing it up with Rob Howard down low. Oladapo today, 15 points, 10 rebounds in 22 minutes. Quite the matchup between these two. See Kirk.
dish it off. Howard goes to gather, puts it on the deck, and that's where you see a little contact. You see possible travel. See kind of everything right down there on the baseline. Grizzlies ball. Oladapo, Williams for three. Back tap in the hands of Oladapo. Right place, right time again. It's uncanny. There's a shot by Young from the outside that goes for naught, and that'll be a foul, loose ball foul on UIC, I believe. Yep. You can call the loose ball foul on Mitchell there, but on the previous rebound, Townsend went over the back. He had a Flames player by the back, arm over to tip the ball back out to keep the ball for the Grizzlies' possession. Townsend at the top against the Hale with 15 to shoot. Williams down the baseline. Try the feet inside. Now here's Young. Five to shoot. Four, three, Townsend. The ball goes out of bounds. It'll be UIC basketball anyway. Hot potato on the sideline. No Grizzly wanted it. Finally, they just threw it out of bounds. Checking in the ball game for the Grizzlies will be Joey Holifield. He will replace Young. Zion Griffin back in the ball game to replace Raquandis Mitchell. Mitchell has been flexing that thumb a little bit. I don't know what that is about, but he's been flexing that thumb when we've had uh, a, some dead ball periods here. Howard did not expect the ball there. Here's Griffin for three. Mitchell appears to be getting looked at on the Flames bench on the baseline as well. Rebound Moore. Williams for three. Here comes Kirk for the Flames. Kirk loses the handle momentarily and he gives it to Hale. Michael Diggins inside Howard, no, and a whistle. You want to read in Chicago. The UIC Flames looking to go 5 and 2 on the season. The lead 58 43. Rob Howard to the foul line for the Flames. Rob in double digits with 13 points tonight. Tavion Kirk leading the way with 18 points for the Flames. 11 for Michael Diggins. On the flip side, Oladapo, 15 points, 10 rebounds. Another double-double for him tonight for the Grizzlies. Pull a field on the right wing. Moore. Now Williams down the lane. Let's it fly. No. Rebound Diggins. Hale did not expect that, and it goes out of bounds, and it'll be Oakland basketball. So 59-43, UIC with the lead. Six points. And now Diggins with the steal. Here's Kirk. Let's it fly. No. Rebound Townsend. More on the right wing. Oladapo inside and puts up the shot and scores. Oladapo with the basket, 59-45, UIC with the lead. Saw Jamie Hill try and come over help side defense. Oladapo too strong, lays it in for Oakland. Trying to climb back into this one, down 14. Oladapo with 15 points and 10 rebounds. Inside is Rob Howard. Let's go to Joe Brand with the latest on Raquandis Mitchell. Yeah, guys, Raquandis will not return to the game today with a hand injury. He's got medical tape on it. He's got ice on it. He's got that ice tape to his hand. And he's not looking too optimistic right now, just his head down and uh, hopefully getting some encouragement from his teammates. All right, thank you. 
Let's take a look at Howard again, Chris. Spinning and turning. Nice in that bucket by Rob Howard. Raquandis Mitchell today. Five points, one of five from the field. He had three rebounds, two assists in 23 minutes for the Flames. Diggins misses the opportunity for the dunk there. And more on the other end. Here's Young, loads up for a three, knocks it down. Zion Young for a three. He's got 11, and it's 61-48 UIC. Oakland hanging around in this game. See if they can put together some defensive stops. That's what Greg Campy's crew is looking for here. Kirk spins his way into the lane. A flying one-hender. The shot is no good. Rebound Oladapo. Oakland springing some baskets together here with Young for three. Rebound controlled by a Hale. Kirk over the top to Diggins. It goes in the hands of Howard for the lay-in. Rob Howard with the basket. 63-48 UIC. On the other end, Moore trying to make something happen. Getting contact from Howard and a whistle. So Jalen Moore just trying to pick up any kind of contact he can in the painted area. And the foul. foul two, so that'll be the third foul on Howard. That wasn't great news from Joe Brand regarding uh, Raquandis Mitchell. Yeah, Mitchell has had a really nice weekend. He, he bounced back yesterday with a really nice ball game. And, you know, last Sunday against Loyola, he, he struggled. And yesterday brought the Flames 19 points. He shot 5 of 14 from three-point range and really helping Yaklich and the Flames extend this, uh, this offense where you have Mitchell, Hale, Diggins, all shooting threes. Really helpful for the Flames. Hopefully it's not too bad with the hand injury. Fall away shot, no good for Moore. Moore with just six points tonight, struggling to get his offense going. And there's Diggins with the lay-in on the inside. 65-48 UIC. One thing for sure, Chris, UIC has to continue to pour it on offensively. Oladapo inside. Here's Townsend from the baseline, scores. Ball. Can't be still trying to plead his case here. Kirk at the top. There is Taylor on the left wing. Ten to shoot for UIC. Kirk loops the pass inside. No call there as Griffin tried to get the ball on the inside. And the Grizzlies now with possession. All the way in is Moore. The layup is no good. Oladapo right there for the rebound. 15 to shoot. Oladapo inside. The layup is good. Oladapo now with 19 points and 11 rebounds. Oladapo working hard on the block. Gets his own rebound. Puts it back up. And in as the Grizzlies still hanging around in this one, Jonathan. 65-52. Taylor for three. Swish! Brian Taylor. The Detroit product knocks it down at 68-52. First bucket of the weekend for Brian Taylor. Hits a three-point shot, steps into it. The Flames are going to need him to step up with Mitchell. Now out for the rest of the ball game. I suffered a thumb injury. Went to the locker room as Williams fires in and out, no good. Ladapo again right there for the rebound. Williams launches a three, knocks it down. So Williams for a three. He's got 11 points and it's 68 55. Williams shooting three of eight from three point land here today. Taylor again missed it. Townsend with the rebound. Golden Grizzlies. Last year, 14 and 19 on the season. Slash 1HL, or by searching the hashtag 1HL. Flames lead 68-55 with 10-14 left. Townsend goes in and scores. Here's Joe Brand with more. Joe? Guys, the last two timeouts, it's been a much more pleased Luke Yaklich. He's 
He's very pleased with his team's effort, both offensively and defensively. Main message, no mental lapses offensively. Stay aggressive defensively. And just for the moment, Raquandis Mitchell out of the locker room. He's back on the bench, probably, obviously, still unavailable, though. Howard with the lay-in, and it's 70-57. UIC with the lead. Howard with 17 points tonight. Oladapo. And the rebound controlled by T. Kirk. After this game, as Howard spins and turns, fires, couldn't get it to fall. Rebound goes out of bounds. It's going to stay UIC basketball. After this game, Chris, UIC will take on Milwaukee for two on December 26th and 27th. You can watch those games on ESPN+. Plus. Milwaukee gets a win today, 74-62. They start off Horizon League play 2-0. So hopefully for the Flames, if they win today, you'll have a matchup of two 2-0 two Horizon League teams, the 26th and the 27th. Howard in the lane. Three to shoot for the Flames. Kirk, the rainbow three. Rebound, Howard falls to the floor. And it's a battle between Howard and Zion Young. Young and Howard going up high to get that rebound. Both coming down with it. Possession stays UIC. Eight fifty-three to play here in your ball game. Oakland trying to get their first victory of the season. A hail for three. Switch. Ahoya hail. Seventy-three fifty-seven. A hail with 15 tonight. Grizzlies asleep at the wheel. A hail wide open off the inbounds pass. Hits the three-point shot for the Flames. Five for six from three for a hail. Take a look at this again. No Grizzly there. In inbound pass. Kirk, a hail. That's the easiest bucket of the year for the Flames. Well, Townsend will step to the foul line. Free throw is good. Six players making three-pointers for UIC so far in the contest. Griffin goes in. Diggins goes out for the Flames. Only person in foul trouble now is Diggins with four. Diggins fouled out of yesterday's contest. Townsend again. To Kirk, a hill at the top. Here's Taylor for three. Yes, sir! Brian Taylor for three in the right wing. 76 58. UIC with the lead. Brian Taylor is two for three from three point land in his seven minutes in the game today. Stepping in, hitting big shots for UIC. Foul there on the Flames. Take a look at this again. Brian Taylor steps into it. Beautiful jump shot. It's going to be the fourth foul on Rob Howard, by the way. So Diggins with four, Howard with four. Remember last year when Tarkus Ferguson was out because of a suspension of breaking team rules that Brian Taylor, a freshman, was pressing the service, Chris, and he acquitted himself pretty well. And so we know that he can be able to do a lot of good things here for the Flames. Luke Yaklic learning a lot about some of the holdovers from the McLean era. But Taylor did a nice job last year. Yeah, he really did. Griffin trying to get it inside. Knocked away. Here's Young. Williams for three. Knocks it down. Williams for three. He's got 14. And it's a 76 to 61 ball game. UIC with the lead. In rhythm, fast break three pointer from Williams there. Griffin for the baseline. Townsend with the rebound. Moore down the lane. Burns the court and scores. So Moore, who has struggled offensively with eight points. He has ten assists, but just eight points, and it's 76 to 63. If you don't stop Jalen Moore by the 
three-point line in the middle of the court. He's going to get all the way to the rim. And Howard is fouled on the end. Six to 63. And Rob Howard will go to the foul line. The Flames have really played well here in this contest, haven't they? They absolutely have. Tavion Kirk has led the way. 18 points, 9 rebounds, 10 assists in 33 minutes. So one rebound away for Tavion Kirk to get the third triple-double in school history here at UIC. It happened twice last year. Goblin Bowen did it. Uh, he had the first. Actually, that was in 2016. And then Targets Ferguson had one last year, the second one, December 5th, 2018. So two players in the last couple of years getting triple doubles, Bowen and Ferguson. And let's see if Tavion Kirk can get a rebound today and get the third triple double in school history. Jacob Wiley in for UIC right now. Flame shooting 52% from the field. But 13 for 27 from three-point range. It's going to be on Wiley. Wiley checked in and gets a foul. So into the foul line. Let's take a look again. There he was trying to stop the progress of Townsend. Townsend had the inside position. Just a step late there for Wiley. Townsend with 11 points and 10 rebounds. Oakland has been so good against UIC, Chris, that I will not believe that UIC will win until we see zeros on the board. They're just that good over the years. Greg Campy has coached the likes of Kay Felder and Kendrick Nunn. Inside, and the shot is good for Griffin on the inside. 80-63 UIC. I would even add uh, Hill Mays last year. Very talented for Oakland. Gave UIC a lot of trouble. Nice block by a Hale. That's got to be Flames basketball. Aggressive defense there by a Hale getting his hand in there. You're right about Oakland, though, and, and assuming a victory, you, you got to wait for triple zeros on the clock because the fact that UIC was 0 for 9 coming into yesterday's contest to get their first win against Oakland here at Creighton Union 1 Arena. We've seen a lot of good Grizzlies teams. Uh, Hale tries to get a pass to the corner to Kirk, and it goes for not. Here's Williams wide open for three, and he gets it to rattle home. Against top quality con uh, teams and in, in out of the conference, and you see four straight games against Power 5 schools. Uh, you saw that they played uh, five games within seven days to start the season. Uh, so you're right. It, it really adds, and, and you see the 0 for 8 to start the season. I would say this team is much better than an 0 for 8 team. Griffin inside to Howard. Layup is good. Howard with the basket. He's got 23, and it's 82-66 Flames. And there's a foul there on Jamie Hale. So... Jalen Moore with eight points tonight, four for 14 from the field and 10 assists will step to the foul line. I'll say this, and we'll, we'll have to hear from both head coaches afterwards. I kind of like the Horizon League schedule that's set up here. I, they, this weekend has felt like it's a little bit like a tournament, kind of like a playoff series. Mm -hmm. The strategy of a back-to-back, -back, trying to figure out how to figure the other team out, I kind of like what we've kind of been a part of this weekend. Free throws missed by Moore. 82-66 UIC. Wide open is Griffin for three. Howard with the offensive rebound. There's two Grizzlies around him. Kirk, flying one-hander. Goes for not rebound Oladapo. Here's Moore, burns the court, down the lane, layup is good. So Moore with the basket, he's got 10. 82-68. Kirk, by the way, now with officially the third triple-double in UIC history. Since we brought it up, he's collected two more rebounds, 18, 11, and 10 for Tavion Kirk. Howard for three. Rebound Oladapo. Moore. Launches a three, nicks off the rim, rebound to Hale. Imagine all the terrific players that have come through UIC. 
And over the last couple of seasons, last year and now this year, we are actually seeing triple doubles here at Credit Union 1. You know, it's that. How about the record performance yesterday? Jamie and Hale with his eight three-pointers. Only one person in Flames history has hit more threes in the game. It'll be an offensive foul on Howard, and so it'll be Grizzlies basketball. So a Hale hit eight three-point field goals yesterday. The program record for threes made in a game was Brian Hill, nine three-pointers against Western Michigan, December 1st, 1990. Three other players are in that category with Jamie Hill from yesterday that have hit eight three-pointers in a game, and Jamie Hill followed it up today, hitting five. So with that last play, Rob Howard is officially fouled out of the ball game. He finishes, though, with a great performance, 26 minutes, 23 points, 9 for 13 from the field. Oladapo inside. Also eight rebounds for Howard. 82-70 UIC with the lead. Under four to play. Here in the second of a back-to-back -back against the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. Kango gets it to Williams. Go shots here and there. It's, it's the hail that we've been looking for this season, and he has showed up here in Horizon League play right on time. Grizzlies with the basketball. Grizzlies trying to find a way to come back in this ball game and not go to 0-9. Williams. Goes to the basket and scores as the time was winding down. Williams with 19 points. 82-72, Flames. This has been a comfortable second half for the Flames, but a 10-point game with three minutes to go. Uh, the Grizzlies are hanging around. T. Kirk carries the basketball. It'll be the third turnover of the game for Tavion Kirk. He's had a fantastic ball game. The 10 assists to go along with the 11 rebounds and 18 points. 12 turnovers for the Flames here tonight. Under three to play. Williams for three. Tipped and volley in the air and a whistle. Loose ball foul. It's gonna be on the Flames. That's going to be on Diggins, and he fouls out again. Back-to-back -back games now, Diggins has fouled out. As he will leave the ball game, Chris, with 13 points, 7 rebounds, and 5 assists. Take a look at the 3-point shot missed. Flames going up for it. Diggins grappling down low, gets called for the foul. Heads to the bench. Jacob Wiley in the ball game for UIC. Parrish to the foul line, and the free throw is missed. Parrish has not scored tonight in 12 minutes of play. The 6'6 six, six freshman from Ypsilanti, Mich Michigan. So the missed free throw uh, right now, Golden Grizzly shooting 10 for 17 from the foul line. This is another. So 10 for 18, something that Greg Campy talked about at length after yesterday's game. He's not going to be happy. Eight missed foul shots, and this is a 10-point game. That right there makes up the difference. Kirk to the basket and scores. T. Kirk right to the basket. 84-72 UIC. Kangu spins and turns and fires and misses. Rebound, Wiley. Long up court pass to T. Kirk. All the way in, layup is good. Tavion Kirk with the basket. Back-to-back -back baskets, and it's 86-72 UIC. On the other end, the Grizzlies with under two to play. Oladapo in the lane. There's the three. Kingu misses it. And the rebound snatched out of there by Jacob Wiley. Avion Kirk with a triple-double, the third in program history. 
around a Wiley screen. Flames don't have to hurry here with this comfortable lead. Kirk turns the ball over. Inside, and the layup is missed for Rashad Williams. Foul beyond the Flames. Williams on the foul line, Jonathan. I, I would say this. It, it was a turnover from Kirk that led to this possession, but I would say the two previous possessions for the Flames, Kirk hitting both of those buckets may be enough for UIC. Another missed free throw for the Grizzlies. Fouls on Taylor. Ten of 19 from the foul line for Oakland. Newsom goes in. Parrish will sit down. Free throws good. 86-73, and now the immediate foul by Newsom on Kirk. I've got to text Kenny Williams unless he's watching the UIC Hall of Famer. See if he's watching. I I, I want his banner snatched down here. His Banner hangs to the right of us here at our broadcast location. He never had a triple-double, but Tavion Kirk's had one, and some of the guards from the previous regimes had one. Can you imagine? Kenny Williams is one of the greatest players ever seen play in this building. Absolutely. And never had a triple-double. It's pretty incredible. You can snatch it and take it to the hood, Cave. Oh, sure. Wow, well, sell it on eBay. So, another foul on Newsom. <laughs> when you think about it, I mean, Players I, I've watched in here when I was in college, Sherelle Ford, Kenny Williams, neither one of those guys with triple doubles, but Tavon Kirk comes in. Outing then assists. So it just, certain things you're seeing here, Chris, where because of COVID-19, because of injuries, I mean, everyone's available. Remember, there are no red shirts here in the NCAA. So next man up is so imperative. There also could be an element here where the spacing of that of the schedule and the Horizon League schedule this season where the weekends are tough, but then you get five days of rest and recovery to get ready. So who knows what that means for Mitchell, what it means for Bridges, what it means for Edgem, uh, players who uh, were unavailable today for games. You don't have a game now until the 26th. Uh, see how the rest and recovery can kind of take place Hang into next weekend. All right, Hale, it's the free throw. 88-73, I see with the lead, 106 left. Williams down the lane. As partially blocked by Wiley. Now here come the Flames. Over the top to Taylor. High elevation for Brian Taylor. 90-73 UIC. Taylor with the slam. Kirk, his 11th assist on the game. 45 seconds left. Townsend. Oladapo again with the offensive rebound. Newsom couldn't get it to fall. He gets the rebound. Kangu for three. Under 30 seconds to play. The Flames are going to sweep out the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. How about that? This UIC Flames team comes home to start the Horizon League schedule. And they beat a team that the Flames have had a hard time beating over the years. The Oakland Golden Grizzlies, not just once, but twice here in Chicago. Flames win. The UIC Flames win 90-73. to 73.